let A equal B. Now I can see on both sides, I've got an A minus B. So what I can get is I can get B plus B equals B. We then get one equals two. and welcome back to a brand new video. I was slightly unsure what to film for today's video, but then I decided to do another maths proof. Last week, I uploaded a video where I proved zero factorial is equal to one, and you seemed to enjoy it and you wanted some more style of videos like that. So today, I am going to prove that one is equal to two. There's a very fun proof out there. Fun might not be the right word for some of you, it is for me. There's a fun proof out there. There is an error in the proof though, and we sort of break maths a little bit. I'm going to show you that at the end of this video. What I want you to do is let me know in the comments where you think the error is in the proof. Before we jump into the proof, make sure to go and follow me over on my Instagram to keep updated with me if you want to. Like I say, you don't have to, it's just if you want to. So let's jump in to the proof. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let A equal B. Now what that means is that any number that A is, B is also that number. So if we let A equal 2, B equals 2. If we let A equal 20, B equals 20 and so on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by A. Now on the left hand side, we're just going to have a times a, which we can just write as a squared. So on the left hand side, we end up with a squared. On the right hand side, we're just going to have a times b or b times a, doesn't matter which way around we write it. I'm going to write it alphabetically, so we're going to end up with a b. Then what I'm going to do on both sides is I'm going to minus b squared. I'm allowed to do that because I'm taking b squared from both sides, so the equation is still balanced. So on the left hand side, we're just going to have a squared minus b squared, and then that is equal to the right hand side, which we're just going to have ab minus b squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorise both sides. On the left hand side, I'm going to do the difference of two squares to factorise, and on the right hand side, I'm just going to take out a factor of b. So the difference of two squares on the left hand side will be a plus b, times a minus b. On the right hand side, I'm just going to take out a factor of b. So I'm going to end up with b multiplied by a minus b. Now I can see on both sides, I've got an a minus b. So what I can do is I can cancel those out because what that means is I can divide by a minus b on both sides and get rid of them. So I'm going to cancel a minus b on that side and I'm going to cancel a minus b on that side. Then that leaves me with a plus b from here and a b just from there. So we get a plus b equals b. Now at the start of this proof, we said let a equals b. So we can write that down here. We know that a equals b because we said that at the start of the proof. So what I can do is I can replace a with b in this equation here. So what I can get is I can get b plus b equals b. I can collect like terms there. On the left hand side, we've got b plus b. So that's just going to give me 2b. And on the right hand side, we've just got b. So I can just write that as b. Now what I can do is I can divide both sides by b. So cancelling out the b, in other words dividing by b, will cancel them from both sides and we'll end up with 2 equals 1. Flip that around, we then get 1 equals 2. And that is the proof that 1 is equal to 2. Before I started this proof, I said there was an error, and there is. I made a mistake, kind of, somewhere in the proof that then allowed me to carry on and come out with 1 equals 2. Some of you may know it, some of you might not. What I want you to do is I want you to let me know where you think I've gone wrong in the comments down below, and I want to see if anybody gets it right. So do that now. I'm going to wait. Done it? Commented yet? No? Okay. <clears throat> okay, 
Hopefully you've commented. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal the error. We said at the start of this proof, let A equal B. Then around about here, it went wrong. If A equals B, are we able to divide both sides by A minus B? Well, let's think about it. A equals B. Let's say A equals 1. That means B also equals 1. So what's the value of A minus B? It's going to be 1 minus 1, which is 0. Let's try another number. Let's say A equals B again, and we've got A equals 10. So therefore, B equals 10. The value of A minus B will be 10 minus 10, which will be 0. You can try so many more numbers for A and B, but A minus B, if A equals B, will always be 0. So, what did we do in this step that is circled in blue? We cancelled A minus B out. Now, when we cancel something from both sides, what we're actually doing is dividing both sides by that thing we're cancelling. So, here we are dividing both sides by A minus B. What we just worked out when we put values in is that A minus B is always zero if A equals B. So, everything after that, everything that follows this here, does not make any sense whatsoever because here we divided by A minus B and A minus B is zero. And as we know, in maths, we can't divide by zero. Pen down, that. It just wobbled along the desk. And that's the proof. That is how easy it is to prove that one equals two, even though it goes very wrong in the middle of it and you don't realize and you can carry on. But I just thought I'd share it with you in case you hadn't seen it and you wanted to, uh, you wanted to know why one equals two. It doesn't. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know if you have any other cool maths proofs that you'd like me to cover on my channel in the comments down below. And subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Don't know what I'm saying now. I've lost the plot after I proved one equals two. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. We can't divide by zero.